Hey, what's going on, everybody? I think I have probably found the worst person on the internet. And no, that's not hyperbole. She is literally the worst. If you don't know who I'm referring to, I'm talking about Sky Jackson, a former child actor turned political activist who mostly just keeps her activism on Twitter, funny enough. She has, however, started mass doxing people recently to fight racism. She's actually doxed over 143 people in the past few weeks. And as you would expect from a mass dox, a good chunk of these people aren't even racist. Some of them are the wrong people, and half of them are minors. Yep, she is literally posting the private information of children in order for people online to harass them and send them death threats and get them kicked out of whatever colleges they're trying to apply for. But as terrible as that is, I actually find it really interesting because a lot of her quote-unquote activism has to do with bullying and how it has a terrible impact on a child's development. She even made a speech about it recently at an event and I thought it'd be a great idea to watch the video and react to what she has to say. You know, statistics have shown that bullying has had a massive impact on young kids. And teenagers, more than out of five students, are bullied, which is crazy. I love how she's talking about bullying like it's one of life's biggest mysteries and how we'll never understand it. But she's a perfect example of how bullying happens in the first place. You know, people like her who weaponize social media and use it as a way to organize attacks on unsuspecting teenagers who are just living in the digital age. I mean, yeah, it is crazy how predominant bullying is in the digital age, but it's only going to get worse as long as people like you exist and people like you continue to dox children. Bullied students are at a higher risk for poor performance in school. Sleep difficulties, anxiety, depression, and bullying and its effect because becomes evident in relationships with friends and family, schoolwork, and even physical health. Students who have experienced bullying are nearly two times more to attempt suicide. So she's actually making some pretty good points with her speech here, but the problem with that is if you know uh, how bad bullying is to a child's development and their mental health, why would you continue to participate in the targeted harassment, cyberbullying, and doxing of young children on your Twitter? I mean, you just said it yourself. It's terrible for a child's development, and it could ruin their life, and it could eventually push them into su committing suicide. Yet you are continuing to participate in that kind of behavior, which means you're a total hypocrite, and nobody should take you seriously. Nobody should take you at your word ever because you don't stand by what you say. Early research shows that suicide attempts among adolescents have nearly doubled since 2008, making suicide the second leading cause of death between ages of 10 and 34. With more access to the internet, cyberbullying has become a global issue. Over 60% of students who experienced cyberbullying reported that it immensely impacted their ability to feel safe and learn during school. Another good point, but once again, why are you continuing to do it if that's the case? Why are you continuing to bully children on your social media? I have also been a victim of cyberbullying, especially on social media. A majority of my followers on Instagram I've never met and probably might not ever meet but they always judge me based on my things and my career, physical appearance, and sometimes leaving really mean comments that really bother me and have a negative effect on me, sometimes causing me to question myself, but I have to constantly remind myself that I have so many supporters rather than haters, and to the naysayers, I just need to get them out of my mind and focus on me and the positivity. Okay, so once again, you know how bad bullying affects children, and you've been personally impacted by cyberbullying yourself, so why would you continue to do it? And not only that, but what you're doing is way worse than traditional cyberbullying. You're not saying something mean about someone on Twitter. You are posting their name, their photo, their phone number, and sure, you may not be posting their address but with the information you are sharing to your thousands of followers you might as well you're still putting these people at risk for a cyber attack or even physical harm if someone really wanted to come after them but after this she stopped talking about cyberbullying and instead brought up racism and specifically how she's been affected by racism which i thought was fine up until she said this when i walked into that audition room i saw no one that looked like me the other actresses were all biracial light skin, curly haired and bright eyed. My now wait a minute, what's the problem with biracial people auditioning for Disney shows? That seems like kind of a microaggression you got there and maybe you should check your privilege. But seriously guys, I don't think she's actually being racist when she's saying this. I understand the context of what she's saying, but the problem is this is exactly what she would expose and dox someone for if she caught wind of them saying this. And most importantly, this is the kind of stuff her own fans would cancel her over if they even found out she was being a little antagonistic towards biracial people. That depends on you and your time is now. 
Go out, be the best version of your truest self. And and don't forget to dox people on Twitter so we can collectively rally together and ruin their lives. Okay, guys, but seriously, let's end this video with some food for thought. Because if I had one question and one question only to ask Miss Jackson here, it would be, what have you actually done for social justice? What have you done for victims of cyberbullying? What have you actually done? Because I haven't seen you do anything. You haven't helped anyone. You've only hurt people. And I'd honestly, I'm honestly curious to see how you would answer that question. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below. And actually, I'm really interested in reading your comments about who this person is and what you think about the things she's been doing. But I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.